when you're making a deal on Shark Tank, you always, always negotiate. And that's, that's one thing I love about you. You always negotiate on every single deal. I, I don't like, I, I think you'd rarely ever accept the deal the way it is. And what do you think is how important is the negotiation skill for an entrepreneur? How important is that to be? Oh, I think, I think it's critical. I mean, for an entrepreneur, yes, but for a person, negotiating skills are critical. I mean, you know, life is not what you accept, it's what you negotiate. And uh, so whether you are trying to negotiate uh, who's going into the bathroom first in the morning, your husband or your wife or your sister or your brother, or you're negotiating to get a meal, or you're negotiating to get the remote control away from your best friend, uh, you're negotiating. But in business, it's even more critical because at the end of the day, you know, you have to uh, run the business and you have to negotiate with yourself first if you're up to doing this and you know, are you ready to do this for the long haul? You have to negotiate with your employees, people to come to work for you and work hard for you because they have their own dreams and their own aspirations. And then you have to negotiate with your vendors, your landlord, and then of course you have to negotiate with your customer, you know, and uh, why, and when you're negotiating with your customer or any of them, it's not about you, it's what's in the best interest of them. Why do your employees want to come to work? Why do your, why does your consumer want to buy from you? They can, whatever you buy, you're selling, there's, there's another person selling it. Um, so what's your unique selling proposition? Why is this advantageous to them? How can they, um, buy into this thing with, uh, the least risk factor and how can they trust you? And why are you the person to sell it to them? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I know that you recently released your new book, Power Sip, which is, I think you, you released it back in March. So can you tell my audience a little bit about your new book and what it's all about? Yeah, so Power Shift is a, a book that I felt was of value during this time prior to COVID because um, it took me a it took me a year prior to write the book. And what it was is a, and what it is about is is the key things that people need to do to pivot in their life, and the way they negotiate in their life. And it's all about negotiation, but people are are spoiled often because of Shark Tank because they think in eight minutes a negotiation is going to happen and you're either going to have the deal or not. You're almost never going to have the deal in eight minutes of your first encounter with sharks or anybody else. Uh, usually that's kind of like a dating and you go back and you revisit, I'll call you later, I'll give you the pricing, I'll send you over the data, whatever the case is. But prior to getting there, you have to build influence with those people. And building influence may not be, you know, you know them and you took them out for dinner and you called them a bunch of times. Building influence may be the fact that they check your social media, they look you up and they want to see just what do you think? How do you act? You know, like, are you a very pleasant person? Are you a contributor to the team? Are you religious? Are you, you know, do you want to save the planet? Or are you funny? Are you artistic? Whatever the case is, that's where the influence is built. After you build influence, then you negotiate with them. And then more importantly, once you finish negotiating, you may not get a deal. You may not get what you want, but you want to nurture that relationship way after because maybe they'll think about the way that you acted and they'll want to do a deal with you in the future. They'll find a deal for you. Maybe they'll ten, tell 10 other people and say, uh, you know, David, I met him, found him fascinating. It really wasn't for me at that time in my life, you know, or whatever the case is, but I think there's something that you, you should meet, David. You have to nurture those relationships. And those are the three aspects of the book. But I didn't want you to just hear it from me. So what I did was I put in there, I think, 10 or 12 subjects, people that uh, most of them you know, people like uh, Chris Jenner. I interviewed her in the book uh, and to get her secrets for, uh, you know, the way she power shits in her life. Pitbull, um, Billie Jean King, who, cha who changed the face of women's sports, Lindsey Vaughn, Mark Cuban, my fellow shark. And I asked them all of the things that I wanted to know on how they have become more so successful in so many different areas of business and then life, and what were their secrets to negotiating? Um, and I put it all together with along with my secrets, and there you go, I have power shifts, and so many people now need it because, you know, they're, they're, they're trying to create power shifts in their lives, uh, you know, whether it be business or personal. Hmm. That's awesome. Okay, and who is this specifically, who would need this book the most? I know you mentioned like entrepreneur, definitely need them, almost anybody, but, um, can you give more specific who, what kind of person would need to read this book right now? The person, there's two types of people that need to read this book. The person who feels like they don't know where to start, they can't get out the gate, mm -hmm. and that for some reason, 
everybody else is control is is in control of their power or holding them back that their boss is holding them back mm -hmm. their wife is holding them back their parents or society is holding them back right so it's it's that person who just says i don't have power yeah the other one is the person who has a lot of ideas, they know they want to do it. They're all over the place, but they need to refine their ideas. They need to refine their approach and they need to better their communication skills. And they need to search internally to say, how can I, I know, I know I'm special. I know there's something there. I'm, I'm, I'm failing, but I'm taking a lot of swings, which I should. What are some tricks, tips, or advice that can let me home in on very specific skills I have and take advantage of that and use it to the best of my ability so I can start ga gaining more ground when I'm in the room, on the phone, or on the Zoom call with somebody. Mm -hmm.